What does it take to be successful? My special guest, Dr. Gary Epler, says he knows the answer, and he does speak from experience. Dr. Epler is an internationally known author and speaker. He's a pulmonary and critical care professor at Harvard Medical School. He's written four health books, discovered a treatable lung disorder. He found a parasite that was sickening people in South America and managed the tuberculosis refugee program in Southeast Asia, and that's just the beginning. Dr. Epler tells me that it turns out that some of his success comes from the management of his brain waves. He says changing your brain waves just once a day boosts the body's mental and physical capabilities. We need alpha brain wave time every day, 15, 20 minutes. It's phenomenal and it's simple as this. It's daydreaming, old fashioned daydreaming when you're a kid. When you're, right now, if you're daydreaming, you're in alpha rhythm. And it's really great to do, 10, 15 minutes. You can do it with meditation, old-fashioned meditation, sitting, cross-legged, and all of that. So I do uh, eyes open meditation on the treadmill, literally. Uh, you just eyes open, you just space out. It's great for stress. It just reduces stress instantly. Uh, number two, it produces these feel-good hormones like uh, endorphins, dopamine, serotonin. Uh, it does all these wonderful feel-good hormones. Uh, the other one it does is an interesting one of, we tend to use our left side of the brain, which is our analytic side, it's, and it also uh, tells us about the past, thinks about the future. And the right side's the fun side, it's a creative side, and, and meditation brings that in balance. Because you don't want one or the other. I mean, yeah, if you go all totally right side, you won't even be able to survive. <laughs> and you go totally left, you're just kind of a boring person. I mean, it's not a very exciting life. And it balances, it balances those two sides of the brain. Uh, the other one is really scientific, and it, 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 it decreases the telomeres at the end of the chromosomes. And we have about 140 of those divisions in our lifetime. Uh, a chromosome gets shorter every time a cell divides, and our cells divide all the time. And after 140, it stops because it's too short to divide. And you don't want to get that thing short. And, and actually, meditation and alpha rhythm will, will uh, stop or slow that process. So that's a good thing. And the thing that speeds it up isn't not enough sleep, no exercise, <laughs> and bad food.